Hi, I am Dr. VVS Chandrasekharam. I am the Chief Surgeon for Pediatric Surgery and Pediatric Urology at Ankura Hospitals for Women and Children, Hyderabad. At Ankura, we have a large team of pediatric surgeons who specialized in treating surgical problems in children. Now, unlike the adult specialities where the surgery, surgical specialities are system specific, whereas in pediatric surgery, the specialty is age specific. So basically as pediatric surgeons, we operate on children from birth till about 16 to 18 years of age, till adolescence. Now, the children mostly suffer from a different type of surgical problems when compared to adults. Children mostly have congenital problems, whereas adults mostly have acquired surgical problems. So the surgical treatment of children with congenital problems, so pediatric surgery and pediatric urology are completely different when compared to adult surgery and adult urological surgery. So as pediatric surgical specialists, we specialize in treating children with congenital problems related to the abdomen, gastrointestinal tract, the liver, hepatic, hepatic biliary system, the, the thorax and also we specialize in urogenital surgery for children. So let's see what are the common urogenital problems in children. The common urogenital problems that we encounter children are hydronephrosis, vesicouretric reflux and genital problems are hypospadias. Of course, there is a variety of urological problems which occur in children. Most of them are congenital, that is their birth defects. So the commonest of them is what we call as a obstruction at various levels of urinary tract like a pelviuretric junction or a PUJ obstruction or a vesicouretric junction or a VUJ obstruction, then posterior urethral valves and then rare obstructions at various levels. The second category, very important category is vesicouretric reflux where there is abnormal passage of urine from the urinary bladder backwards into the kidneys which actually causes severe urinary tract infections in children and has a potential to damage the kidneys of the child. This is called vesicouretric reflux or VUR which is another very important problem that we routinely manage. The third category is various abnormal development of the kidneys, what we call as a manufacturing defects or birth defects like duplex kidneys, double kidneys, um, ectopic kidneys, malrotated kidneys, horseshoe kidneys with various abnormalities of the drainage of urine or the reverse flow of urine. The other most important category of urogenital problems in children is the genital problems itself which comprises of undescended testes that is in boys sometimes either one or both the testes do not descend completely into the scrotum by the time of birth. In such children if by six months the testis does not come down into the scrotum by itself then we have to surgically bring down the testis and laparoscopy plays a major role in some of these cases. The second and probably the, 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 the most important uh, distinguishing problem of pediatric urology is what we call as hypospadias. Hypospadias is an abnormality of the penis. It's a, it's a manufacturing defect of the penis we can say. The penis uh, when it develops should be straight and the urine should come from the tip whereas in these unfortunate children with hypospadias the penis is bent and urine does not come from the tip it comes starts come it comes the urinary hole is located somewhere on the under surface of the penis. So this is a very common problem and very very specific problem to pediatric urology and hypospadias has many variations. It's a very versatile problem. It can be mild, moderate, severe and very severe and these children require 
highly expert surgical care at the right time to correct their anomaly. Otherwise, there is a lifelong problem associated with these if these anomalies are not corrected properly or if there are major complications arising from the surgery itself. So at Ankura, we actually specialize in surgical correction of hyperspadias and all the other urological problems that I have discussed. Apart from this, of course, there are a lot of voiding dysfunctions in children, dribbling. Some children do not have control of their urination both in the day and night. And then there are spinal cord problems in children which can cause what we call as a neurogenic bladder and neurogenic bowel. So all these are again uh, and more severe problems, congenital problems like extrophy of the bladder and epispadias. So it's a long list of problems in pediatric urology. But at Ankura, we have we are experts in treating all these conditions and our results are probably some of the best in the country. We have, uh, if, you, if you take um, PUJ obstruction, uh, vesicoretric reflux and hypospadias, three of the most common problems in pediatric urology, we at Ankura have probably one of the largest experiences in the country with treatment of these problems. And other important thing, we manage all these urogenital problems by minimally invasive techniques. So by laparoscopic and endoscopic techniques, we have specialized, we have actually published a lot of papers, a lot of our, uh, our, our own techniques have been published in international journals. And um, we actually specialize in the management of children with pediatric urological problems in a very minimally invasive way. Our aim is to give the best results to the child with the least discomfort, the least pain and the least morbidity to the child and the parents.